Okay, here is Saltburn by the sea. Going over Insel Frog Points, and you've seen it stop and jerk there. And you see it stopped. And you might think, oh, it's Insel Frog Points, or some expert will tell you that. Well, what we have done is we've put another class 20 over it, and that's not stopping. So, the next thing you do is check the back to back and I'm going to show you exactly what you do and run through what you do to check a loco. I've checked the points, they're all clean, I've cleaned the track, I've put another class 20 over the track. In fact, let's do it, we'll show you. Get the other class 20 out, the analogue one, and we'll show you. Here's the other class 20 going over the same piece of track really really slowly it always helps if you've got another loco that of the same milk that you can test it with and you can see would you like to bring it back quickly and bring it over slowly again please and take it over slowly really slowly and you can see this is going over the same piece of track really really slowly crawling analog and you can see that runs absolutely fine. So I'm going to show you the test you do to see what's going on. Thank you. Okay, the first thing you do is check the back-to-backs with a back-to-back -back gauge and you can see the back-to-back -back on that like this loco is absolutely perfect. Absolutely fine. Right, the next thing you do is check that the pickups are connecting. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking at this through a magnifying glass and hopefully you can see just in there the pieces of copper as I move the wheels in fact I can see in there are connecting and you can see in there fairly easily the wheels the pickups that's what they look like little pieces of copper you can see in there and you can see where the wheels move, they move. So there's no problem with those. And I've checked the other side as well. So the next thing you do is you move on to see if the wheels are picking up power. Because you can see, you can see here that the pickups are working fine. Pickups on all wheels on this locomotive. There's no reason why it should stop. So let's move on. Okay, the next thing you do is check the wires solder to the bogey pickup are connected so there you can see the black wire you can see it's soldered and you can see when I move it around the wire is attached 100% and now we'll go to the red wire and now you check the other wire because what can very often happen is over time saying that I've oddly run this that the wire can come dis become disconnected but you can see here the red wire is attached to the bogey so power is going up to the loco so the black and red wires are working correctly on this locomotive what I do for testing power is not the most professional I've got a couple of crocodile clips I put at the end of a siding and I make sure I'm getting power to that siding which you can see if I press it let's get it on here correctly so you can see that I am so when you're testing power, make sure you are getting power to the uh, crocodile clips. And I'll show you how you test. Okay, what I'm going to show you how to do here is test the power. There runs fine. There runs fine. Nothing. So you can see with your own eyes, the reason the loco is not running as it should is because... The front bogies are not produce, giving power to the loco, and there you go. The rear ones are, the back ones are not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the other class 20 in, the other analog one in, and show you how one of these should run. There you go, there you go, there you go. 
There you go. So you can quite clearly see what is wrong with my loco. Thank you for watching and I hope this has given you an insight is how to check if a loco is not running correctly. And we can see the problem, no power to the front pickups. Sorry, there's power going to the front pickups but they're not going to the engine. Thank you for watching. So the bottom line with this is whatever is wrong with it is going on inside the body of the engine. It's not the wheels, it's not the pickups. It's all in the body and the wires connecting there. So that means taking the body off and have a look, which is beyond my remit on this locomotive. But I know it's not the track. I know pretty much what is going on. And you just have to take it further. And a friend of mine will have a look at that for me. Thank you for watching.